Founded in 1979 by the Bick family of Bick Penn fame, Bick Sport grew from a passion for water sports and world-renowned expertise in sustainable manufacturing. Visit BickSport.com and learn more about our full range of water sports products. Hey and welcome to your FUP Pilates workout. It's all about Pilates on the board today. My name is Jodelle Fitzwater and I'm with Bic SUP and I'm going to take you through a total body workout using Pilates as our focus. If you've ever done Pilates before, it's all about the core. Your core is your abs, your hips, your low back, your buns and thighs. We're going to tone it all and we're going to hit those trouble spots like never before. So if you're ready, grab your board, hit the water and let's get started. Typically in Pilates we have our heels together, but for balancing we want to stay with our feet about hip width apart on the board. So soft bend in the knees, pressing down through all four corners of the feet. Just take some gentle shoulder circles here. Inhaling and exhaling, taking in that fresh air wherever you are. Deep breath in and out. And some head circles as well. Just circling the head in one direction and circling the head in the other direction freeing up the neck and the shoulders before we get started. Now we're going to reach down for your paddle and we're just going to do some warm-up movements with the paddle. So take it just right horizontal right in front of your body. You're going to inhale the paddle up and exhale down. Just getting those shoulders warm. Inhale up, exhale down. As you're doing this, you're maintaining that micro bend in the knee. And you're also keeping the core pulled in. Always in Pilates, we want the belly button drawing up and in. Inhaling up, exhaling back down. One more like that. And then we're going to hold it up and just make some tiny little circles, making a halo over our body. So inhaling up, exhaling, moving the paddle just in a tiny little circle right over the shoulders. And let's try the other direction. Just circling. Everything stays still except for the shoulders. Moving nice and strong. And let's bring that down. Moving a little more into the legs. I want you to slide the paddle down your legs and then slide it back up. So it's almost like you're using the paddle to shave your legs as you come down into a little squat. Inhaling, exhaling. We want to stick the hips back, keep the belly in, keep the chest high. One more like that. All the way up. Reach your paddle up. Now just kind of swing your paddle down. So we're just warming up that body. Another way before you would work out doing Pilates is maybe just go for a paddle. That'll warm up your body like never before too. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Ah, getting the body moving, moving and fresh, feeling good. And let's finish there. We're going to bring the paddle down to the board and move down to all fours now. So coming down to all fours, have your hands right underneath your shoulders, knees in line with your hips. What we're looking for here is a drawstring and a zip. So we're going to be drawstringing at the waist. Imagine a drawstring pulling you in and zipping up the low abs. Keep that connection there the whole time. We're just going to start with some leg movements just to get the legs a little bit of a tone, a little bit of work here. Step your right toes back and just start to lift and lower. Inhale and exhale. We've got eight here. Here's three, four, five. Keep the belly in strong, keep the hips square. One more. And now let's take it out into the water. So just tapping the water and lifting, getting a little more into the outer thighs. Three, four, everything stays still except for the leg. One more. Now take it really wide, straight out to the side and lift as high as you can. It might only be an inch and that's fine. One, two, three, pointing through those toes. Five, six, seven, and eight. Bring it back behind you. I want you to pull underneath, round your back. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Pull underneath, two. Inhale, lift and lengthen. And three. Ooh, I'm starting to feel it in my left thigh, but also my right. Keep that going. Breathing in, breathing out. We've got three more to go. 
two more. One more. Good, hold it up there. I want you to bend that back leg, press it to the sky for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Still holding. We're going to extend and bend now. If you're not feeling it by now, you're a better person than I because I can feel this. Keep going. Keep it right at that hip height. Try to keep that knee right at hip height. And three and two. Almost done. We're going to extend that leg and draw a circle behind you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Finish there. Pull that knee down. Oh, a little fire in the thighs there. So we're going to move the paddle out of the way and just take a little stretch for each side because we are working both at the same time. So you're going to sit back, stretch your hips in one direction, bring your hands to the other side. Ooh, that feels nice. And then complete it over to the other side. So you're going to reach to the right, hips to the left. Deep breath in, sinking those hips. And what we do to one side, we do to the other. So now we're moving on to the left leg. So we're starting by just touching the toes back. Inhale, lift, exhale, lengthen. Remember that drawstring and your low abs zipping up. There's three, there's four, five, six, seven, and eight. We'll move it out into the water now. So take it out, touch it to the water just outside your board, and then up. Two, three. That leg is super straight and long, pointing through the toes. There's six, seven, and eight. Move it out as far as you can to the left. Hold it out there, and then touch and lift. Touch and lift. So we're really working those outer thighs and you can feel it a little bit in your core. Keep going. Three and two and one. Bring it back out behind you. We're going to pull it in and under and reach it back. Exhale, inhale. There's two. Exhale, inhale. There's three. Exhale, inhale. Four. Exhale, Inhale five. You got three to go. Mmm, last two. Starting to feel it get toasty in there. One more. Hold it out. Deep breath in. We're going to bend that left leg, point it to the sky, and make little pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring it out behind you and let's take it in and back out in and back out, working the hamstring, the back of the leg. There's four, five, keep breathing, six, keep that leg at hip height. One more, hold it out, draw that circle behind you. Are you working yet? I'm feeling it. Here's three, four, five, six, seven. Don't let it down yet. We got to reverse the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now you can let it down and sit back and find that stretch again. Just kind of move your paddle out of the way. Reaching to the right, taking the hips to the left. Ooh, a nice side body and a hip stretch there. And same thing, other side. Reach to the left and the hips go to the right. Deep breath in and we come back up. So moving into a little bit of some push-ups. Traditionally in Pilates, we would do a kind of a standing to the ground push-up, but we're just going to keep, keep it down on the knees this time, and we're going to give a nice little uh, side plank added to it. So coming down to all fours, you can do this one of two ways. You can be on your knees for these push-ups, or you can be up on your toes, whatever your comfort, comfort level is. I'm going to be on my knees just so that beginners know where to go and what to do. So keep your hands a little wider than you normally would, but your elbows are going to go straight back as you come down, kind of like a tricep push-up. 
Okay, so we're just going to do about eight of these, then we'll add our side plank. Here's two, three, body in a straight line, four, keep those shoulders drawing back, keep the belly drawing in, five, six, breathing deep, seven, and eight. Okay, moving on to the side plank push-up. So now hands are just a tiny bit wider. You're gonna let the elbows come out as you go down. Move your left hand to the center of the board, left foot in the water, right leg extends, and we reach up. Inhaling, exhale down. Let's try that push-up again. And we'll try the other side. Right foot in the water, left leg extends, left arm reaches up, inhaling, exhaling back down. Keep flowing like that. Push-up and open. Try it again. Push up and open. The key is to always keep your balance by moving the hand to the center of the board. Push up and balance. Good. And one more on each side. Let's get this side over with here. Feeling that little burn in the arms a little bit and we'll come back down. Take a little stretch back into child's pose. Ah, deep breath. And we'll come back up, work the arms a little bit more. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna transition onto our side, the bottom arm wrapped around the waist, the top hand in front of the shoulder. So we're just working the back of the arms. From here, pressing up, inhaling, exhaling down. Inhaling, exhaling down. Oh yeah, we can feel that. Now, it doesn't matter how high you go up. If you're only coming an inch off the board, that's fine. Just do what your body can do. We've got one more here to complete our eight. Inhale, press up, exhale, coming down. So all the work's in the back of that arm, the tricep. Here's three. Again, no dumping the belly. The belly's in strong. Four, five, six, seven, are you breathing? And eight, good. So Pilates also works the arms as you can feel. We're gonna sit nice and tall here on the board, continuing to work the arms. This is just a simple movement you can do by placing your hands, palms facing up, interlacing the fingers up towards the sky. We're gonna press and release, press and release. Now I want you to start to go a little bit faster. Push, push, we're doing three sets of eight of these. So you're gonna feel these. Here's eight, we got two more sets. Back of the arms really strong, pressing high. There's the second set, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. That's your third set, so relax there. Shake your arms out, Woo. Moving on to a little more leg work now. So I'm going to switch my pack to the front a little bit. We'll be down on our back for this. Kind of transitioning around a little bit. Down onto your back. You're going to use your paddle just as kind of a guide to keep your shoulders onto the board. What we're looking for here is just a leg circle. So take your right leg up. But before you get started with the leg circles, I want you to really anchor your belly button down into your low back and your low back to the board. Your low back should feel flush to the board here. So as we're here, we're pulling the shoulders down, we're locking into position. The only thing that's going to move is the leg in a tiny circle. So to stay stable on the board, you're gonna to have to really keep that core firm. So yes, we are working the thighs, the legs, the inner thighs, the outer thighs, but we're also working the core. Core like never before, that's what SUP is. Keep breathing. And then the other direction, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Hold that leg up there. We're gonna flex the foot, bring it down, pointing through the toe, kicking up, flexing, pointing, flexing, pointing. So you're trying to kick your paddle here. Flexing, pointing, flexing, pointing. Three, 
and two and one. Good. Bring it down, pointing through the toe. I want you to carry it just above the board, swing it around. Oh, don't lose that core work all the way up. So we're making a big capital letter D with our leg. Inhaling, exhaling. Your core should really be turned on and feeling this right now. Deep breath, inhaling and exhaling. All the way around, big giant circle, making that capital letter D here. You got three to go. And two. And one. Don't lose that core work. Your board will start to wobble if you do. Okay, hold it up there. We got to reverse now. So we're going down around the way we came and back up. Two. Three. So really good inner thigh work. Can you feel it in your inner thigh here? Keep breathing. Guess what? If you're watching this from home and you don't have an SUP, you can do this whole workout with me without an SUP. There's two more. And one more. Good. Release it down. Woo! Let those legs fall apart for a second. Stretch your arms overhead. Nice big stretch. Oh, I feel that leg. We got to even it out though. We can't leave the other one alone. So let's get set back up. Shoulders down into the board. Low back down into the board. Belly pressing down. Left leg extends up. Start with small circles. One, two. You can start any direction you want to. Just remember we're going to do it in the other direction too. Five, six, seven, eight again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now swing it back around. One, two. Don't let anything else swing around though. Everything else should be stable. Six, seven, eight, and one, two. See, working out on your SUP is so fun. How many times do you get to stare at the clouds while you're doing Pilates? One more. Hold it there. We're going to flex the foot, bring it straight down, kick it up for one and down, two and down, three and down, four and down, five, six, seven, and eight. Bring it down and point your toe, hovering it just above the board, swing it around, bring it up. Ooh, don't fall into the water. That's where your core comes in. Two. Snuggle those shoulders into the board. Three, that'll keep you stable. Four. Ooh, I'm feeling that. Five. Six. It looks easy, but it's not. Give it a try. Seven. And one more. Eight. Now hold it up, and we're going to reverse. Go back the way you came. Out to the side, down, around, and up. Feeling it. Four. Inner thighs are burning. Five. Oh, yeah. Six. And seven. And eight. Whew, awesome job. Set that down. Stretch those knees open again. Arms up. Inner thighs relaxed. Deep breath in. Hmm. And we'll move on. So let's sit back up. So coming into a seated position, you want to kind of pull your flesh out from under you. That's the way you can really get those sits bones down into the board. Flexing your feet kind of outside the board. They're going to be right outside the front of your board. Inhale, the arms come up. I want you to draw your belly button back as you reach the paddle forward and go over the legs. So you're reaching as far forward, doing a little spinal flexion here, and then coming back up. Inhale. Belly button back, exhale, diving forward. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, belly button back, diving forward. Keep those shoulders back as well. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more. Inhale, and exhale. Good. Just set your paddle down. Maybe just crosswise on your legs, just so it's not in your way. Anywhere it's comfortable that it's not in your way here. Actually, I'm going to put mine right underneath me. Arms are going to go out into a T position. Keep those feet flexed. We're going to twist to the right 
and reach in, as if you're going to saw off your little toe. Inhale, come back up, twist, saw off your little toe on the other side. If you don't make it to your toes, no big deal. Just reach as far forward towards your feet as you can, pulling the belly button back but reaching forward. And it really helps to look in the direction of your twist. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. If you're having trouble with these, maybe start to bend the legs. That will help you as you come forward. Maybe you don't reach quite as far. Maybe you just go halfway down. So work with your comfort zone here. We got one more on each side. And finish there. Okay, now comes the fun part. We get to move down onto our backs and start to really chisel those abs. So bending your knees, we're just gonna start with some roll-ups. Paddle's gonna be straight out in front of you, but pull those shoulders back so you've got good shoulder connection. We're gonna roll down one vertebrae at a time, touching down like a string of pearls on the board. Take your paddle just right up over your shoulders and then peel yourself back up, reaching up, inhale. Exhale, going down. Inhale, reaching. Exhale, curling. So every movement has a breath. Inhale up here. Exhale, rolling back down. Keep that going. Now let's say you can't come all the way up. Just touch your paddle to your thighs and then roll back down, keeping a slow movement with the abs. Try to think of lifting just your shoulder blades off the floor, or off the board, excuse me. Otherwise, coming all the way up, we've got about two more of these to do. <laughs> Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. All the way back down, just the way we came. Go ahead and pull your right knee into your chest. Left leg goes straight out, kind of at a 45 degree angle. If your neck is okay to hold your shoulder blades up off the floor, then do that. If it's not, leave it down. We're gonna pull in two times. One, two, and switch. One, two. Your paddle's going just below the kneecap where there's a little soft cushion where your patellar tendon is. So you're pushing right on that, nice and gentle. One, two, one, two, one, two. Two more on each side. One, two, one, two, and last one. And both knees in. Ooh, abs are feeling that. Make sure you're kind of square on the board. I feel like I'm kind of off to the side, so I'm gonna scoot a little more towards the middle. So the knees are pulled in, we're moving into the double leg stretch now. So curling forward, you're going to open the legs, open the arms back, and then curl back in. Same thing, right below that kneecap. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Belly in strong, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, last two. Inhale, exhale, last one and finish there, set your head down. We're gonna move into the hundreds. So we're gonna set the paddle down just to where it's out of the way. And for beginners, I want you to just start with your knees right up over your hips. If you're more advanced and have done Pilates before, your legs can be straight up or straight out at a 45 degree angle. In any position, whether your knees are here or straight up or out, we're gonna be holding it forward, pressing up and down. And we're gonna do this a hundred times. So just keep going here. I'll be counting you through it. And here's almost 20 right here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 30. One, two, three, keep that belly pulled in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 50. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 60. Keep going, belly drawing in, 70. 7, 8, 9, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90, almost there. And there we go, there's the 100, pull your knees in. Oh yeah. Okay, so when you do the hundreds, you can also have the option of keeping your head down if it bothers your neck or your head at all. We're gonna move on to the jackknifes. So what you're going to do with this exercise is hold on to the rails of your board, just reaching down with your arms for the rails of the board. We're gonna bring the legs up. Beginners, you can keep your legs soft. They don't have to be stick straight, so just work with your own comfort level. 
All we're looking for here is see if you can just lift your hips off the board just for a minute. So this is just the very beginning movement, just trying to lift those hips off the board, up and over. Eventually, we're gonna move into all the way up, over, separating the feet, flexing the feet, rolling back down one vertebrae nice and slow. Bring the toes back together. Let's try that again. Up, over, separate the feet, slowly rolling down. Again, that belly stays in, tight, tight, tight to the core. All the way again, up and over. If you're struggling, just work on trying to lift the hips. You don't have to go right into the full jackknife. Up and over. Go only as far as you can, listening to your body. To keep the neck safe, make sure you press down through the back of the skull and ma maintain that good cervical curve in the neck. We got two more here. All the way down, vertebrae by vertebrae. And one more. Keep holding on to your rails of your board. Again, you can modify by bending the knees here. Otherwise, we're taking big giant circles. Keep that low back down, abs in tight. Oh, I really feel this in my abs the lower I go. Inhale and exhale. Here's four, five, six, deep breath, seven, and eight. Oh, yeah. Let's bring those feet down, kind of shake the knees out a little bit, stretch your arms up overhead, get a nice full body stretch, and then let's walk the feet out just a touch so we can help pull ourselves back up to a seated position. We're going to transition over onto our belly, so just make your way any way you're comfortable down onto your belly. You want to be Laying down with your paddle out in front of you, we're gonna use your paddle in this exercise, working the low back. The low back is part of your core, so we wanna really work on that as well. So first things first, we're just going to inhale and lift the arms and legs. Exhale, lower. Keep your arms about shoulder width apart. The feet are about hip width apart. Three, four, five. Just go into eight here, keep going. Six, if it bothers your neck to look forward, look down. Seven and eight. Now let's hold it up on eight. Just touch the heels and open. Touch, open. Three, four, five, pointing through those toes. Six, seven, eight. Now we pull the hands back behind. So we're pulling the elbows down. Keep those legs lifted. Reach forward, pull back. Reach forward. Pull back. So really squeezing in the upper back here. For three, four, five. Feeling that? Six, seven. One more. Yes. And set that down. Let's take a stretch for the back. We've worked the low back quite a bit there. So just press back. Open your knees. Sit back. Stretch through the arms. And breathe. And then we'll come back up from there. Let's do some gentle stretches to open up all the muscles that we've worked. So just kind of sit in a mermaid fashion on the board, one of my favorite things to do. Right hand down, left arm up. You're going to actually take the paddle in your hand underhand. And as you press up onto the board, extend your paddle up to the sky. Inhale, exhale down. So we want to push that left hip forward, getting a good stretch and down. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Now bring your paddle around to the right. Set it down. Take a hold of your left ankle with your left hand. Right arm up and over. Just a nice side bend here. Opening up all those abs and obliques and side muscles. And release. Let's try the same thing on the other side. So we'll be holding our paddle in our right hand underhand. Left hand down on the board, you'll be coming up to the knees, pressing the right hip forward. Inhale. Ooh, that feels good. Nice stretch down the front of the body. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhaling up, 
exhaling down. One more. And down. And set your paddle down. Take a hold of your right ankle with your right hand. Left arm up and over. Feel that nice juicy stretch down your side. Open your heart to the sky. Deep breath in. Hmm. And let's come back to center. We're going to have a seated position right in the center of our board here. Right hand behind the left thigh, left hand behind you. Inhale, lift your chest, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, twist a tiny bit deeper. And then back to center. Same thing on the other side. Left hand behind the right knee, right hand behind you. Inhale, lift tall. Exhale and twist. And back to center. Inhale, the arms come up. Exhale down. Let's do that one more time. Take a big breath in. Being grateful for what you've done for your body and what your body's done for you. Thank you for joining me on this Pilates practice on the water. No better place to work out. Again, I'm Jodelle Fitzwater with BIC SUP. You can find more of these episodes at SUP TV and subscribe to us if you like what you see. And uh, hopefully we'll see you on the water again soon. Don't forget to get your workout in. Visit BICSUP.com and check out the full range of stand-up paddle boards, paddles, and accessories.